For many people with a terminal illness and their loved ones, hospice care can be an answer to a prayer. It can mean pain-free peace of mind, allowing time to tie up the loose ends of a life. But we at Blessing Hospice know that patients and their loved ones often have many questions that need answers before deciding if hospice care is right for their situation. That's what this presentation is about, to highlight some of the most frequently asked questions about hospice care and provide answers. Hospice is not a place, but a concept of care. The majority of hospice care is provided in the patient's home, the home of a loved one, or in a contracted nursing home. Specially trained medical professionals deliver the care. Their goal is to reduce the patient's pain and control their symptoms, resulting in improved quality of remaining life. Hospice care also includes support for the emotional and spiritual needs of the patient and their loved ones. The word hospice comes from the Latin word meaning guest house. It originally described a place of shelter for weary and sick travelers returning from religious pilgrimages. That changed in the 1960s when British doctor Cicely Saunders began the modern hospice movement, using pain management techniques to compassionately care for individuals and their loved ones facing the end of life. Blessing Hospice opened in 1983, the first Medicare certified hospice in the state of Illinois. Today, Blessing Hospice provides care in nine counties in West Central Illinois. Blessing Hospice is a service of Blessing Hospital, the region's largest healthcare provider. The expert staff of Blessing Hospice has nearly 300 years combined experience in meeting the special needs of patients and families facing the end of life. One of the most frequently asked questions about hospice care is, doesn't choosing hospice care mean a person is giving up on life? No, it doesn't. Choosing hospice means choosing to add life to days rather than adding days to life. Hospice care allows the patient and their loved ones to refocus their energy and attention away from spending precious time in hospitals and doctor's offices undergoing treatments to spending that time, quality time, together with loved ones. Trained medical professionals monitor the patient's condition to ensure the highest level of comfort can be achieved. A patient and their doctor together must decide that hospice care is the right choice. It's also helpful if loved ones agree with the decision too. Other admission requirements of Blessing Hospice include life expectancy of six months or less based on the physician's judgment, the ability to make arrangements to be assisted by a capable caregiver, and living in the region served by Blessing Hospice. People frequently think only of cancer when thinking of hospice care but less than half of the patients cared for by Blessing Hospice have cancer. Any medical condition that results in a prognosis of six months or less to live would make a patient eligible for care from Blessing Hospice. For example, a patient with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or COPD, heart disease or Alzheimer's disease nearing the end of life may be eligible to take advantage of hospice services. Teams of specially trained professionals and volunteers deliver hospice care. The teams include doctors, nurses, social workers and home health aides, and volunteers, including clergy, who assist the patient and their caregiver, who is often a loved one. The hospice nurse and other team members make regular visits to patients and are available at any time in cases of emergency. But the foundation of hospice care is the staff teaching and supporting the patient's caregiver to meet the patient's needs. The Blessing Hospice makes arrangements for needed medication and medical equipment and supplies. Hospice patients may be cared for by the doctor of their choice. Hospice will partner with the patient's personal physician to ensure continuity of care and the most effective symptom relief. Or the patient may choose to see the Blessing Hospice doctor instead. Or have the Blessing Hospice doctor and their personal physician work together. The choice belongs to the patient and their personal physician. No matter the choice, the Blessing Hospice Doctor is always available to provide advice to the hospice care team in order to help the patient meet their goals. The patient may live in their own home or the home of a loved one, as long as the home is within the region served by Blessing Hospice. Care is also provided in nursing homes that have contracts with Blessing Hospice. When care is provided in a nursing home, the patient is responsible for paying nursing home charges. A patient may live alone as long as they can safely care for themselves and have immediate access to a capable caregiver if and when they need assistance to safely care for themselves.
In some circumstances, the patient may need to be hospitalized for a condition unrelated to their terminal illness. The hospice team will coordinate the hospitalization with the patient's physician. In other instances, if the patient's care requires additional medical support that cannot be met in the home environment, the hospice team will assist in arranging hospice care in a hospital that has a contract for specialized hospice care with Blessing Hospice. As the hospice team works with the patient and their physician to control the pain and symptoms related to the terminal illness, it might be necessary to stop or change medicines the patient has regularly taken, even over-the-counter products. This is done only to ensure the patient gets the highest level of pain and symptom control and in consultation with the patient and their doctor. Medicare, Medicaid, and most private insurance plans pay for hospice care, but payment is for services and supplies directly related to the patient's terminal illness only. For example, a hospice insurance benefit would not pay for the treatment of a cold or flu or chronic conditions like diabetes or for injuries from a car accident. For those reasons, patients should consider keeping any secondary insurance coverage they might have to help pay for medical needs not related to the terminal illness. Hospice does not pay for the patient to be in a nursing home, nor does it pay for the patient's caregivers. Hospice does provide medication, medical equipment and supplies directly related to the terminal illness, the training to use them, and emotional and spiritual support. Hospice will coordinate all the healthcare services a patient needs. So a patient's first phone call regarding their health and medical care, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, should be to the Blessing Hospice Nurse, even before calling 911. The hospice nurse will determine what the patient's needs are and will then make the phone calls needed for the patient to get the proper care for the situation. The hospice nurse's assessment may include an immediate visit to the patient's home and contact with the patient's doctor. Hospice patients occasionally live longer than six months. That does not mean hospice care ends. Patients are re-evaluated regularly and at five to six months after admission, a hospice physician does a face-to-face -face visit with the individual to determine that they continue to meet the medical eligibility requirements to use their hospice benefit and prognosis continues to be a life expectancy of six months or less if the disease follows its usual course. One final piece of advice, patients and their loved ones should get involved with hospice as soon as allowable to take full advantage of the benefits of hospice care. Too often times people seek out care with only weeks or days left and do not enjoy the quality of life medically, emotionally, or spiritually that they could have enjoyed had they found hospice earlier in their illness. If you have more questions about hospice care, please call Blessing Hospice at area code 877-672-7610 or email us through the Blessing Health System website www.blessinghealthsystem.org. Remember, hospice is not about adding days to life but adding life to days.